Good day to all. Let us now see a small presentation on Anabond 230, the structural rubber based adhesive for bonding liners to brake shoes. This is the liner and the brake shoe that we will use for testing Anabond 230 brake shoe bonding adhesive. We will now apply Anabond 230 onto the brake shoe. A normal brush will be sufficient. We can apply one or two coat as per our requirement. First, it is applied onto the cast brake shoe. I would prefer to do it with a two coat system. We will now apply Anabond 230 onto the inner surface of the liner. This system needs to be dried. It can be dried in the normal air or it can be dried at oven at 70 degrees centigrade for about 30 minutes. I place the brake shoe and the liner into the oven at 70 degrees. We now have the dried brake shoe and the liner. We will join the liner and brake shoe and clamp it on a suitable clamp. This is a simple clamp devised by us which can accommodate about two brake shoes. Our customers innovate in making clamps that they are comfortable with. We assemble the clamp and tighten it using a normal spanner. We will now place the clamped assembly into the oven for curing at 190 degrees centigrade for about an hour. We place the brake shoe into a fixture and press it using the universal test machine. Let us now examine what is the load that this brake shoe can withstand. The brake shoe gets sheared at the liner. Now let us examine the sheared liner. Notice that the liner has sheared but the bond is still intact. Anamon 230 structural adhesive is stronger than the liner itself. This ensures that the bond will never give way. Now that you have seen this video, rest assured that Anabond brake shoe bonding adhesive will ensure that your brakes stay bonded for life. Thank you.